Founded in the late 1960s, Hospital Central Services established a centralized blood bank to serve the needs of hospitals and patients in the Lehigh Valley. Funded by money donated in memory of the publisher and editor of The Morning Call, Samuel W. Miller, Miller Keystone Blood Center began its 50-year history as a lifeline for the Lehigh Valley and beyond. My dad, Theodore Aloysius Loosebrock, preferred to be called Ted, he actually got started in the blood banking business. He was in Georgetown Law School. He got involved with uh, the Red Cross in Norfolk, Virginia area, enjoyed it, and decided that was gonna be his future. So that got him involved in the blood banking. When I was about 15, uh, he received a request to perform a feasibility study on whether or not a centralized blood bank would be beneficial in the Lehigh Valley area and beyond. And a few months later, he asked us if we wanted to move to Pennsylvania and uh, he was offered the job as manager of the Miller Memorial Blood Center. In 1971, the Samuel W. Miller Memorial Blood Center, or MMBC, opened its doors and the first unit of blood was donated. The blood center contributed to many local hospitals, most of which are still partners today. 13,657 pints of blood were collected in the blood center's first year, enough to fill over 1,700 gallons of milk. In 1977, Lyndall Malthan was appointed MMBC's first medical director. During the same year, an accredited reference laboratory was established where transfusion problems were resolved and rare donor units were identified. This created a rare donor registry that was made accessible to blood centers around the country. By 1979, MMBC developed a frozen cell program allowing rare blood units to be stored for future use. A year later, J. Michael Lee was appointed president and CEO of the Blood Center's parent organization, Hospital Central Services. In 1982, MMBC formed its first board of directors with Theodore Matalevich from Lehigh Valley Hospital, serving as its first chairman and paving the way for so many board members who have been integral to our success. In 1985, donor screenings for HIV antibodies were initiated at MMBC. Joseph Yalo joined the Blood Center as Vice President of Administration, a role he would hold for more than 20 years. In 1988, Dr. Ronald Doman joined MKBC as Medical Director after the passing of Dr. Lyndall Malthan. 1990 was an impactful year as a new 32,000 square foot Miller Memorial Blood Center opened in the Lehigh Valley Corporate Center at Valley Center Parkway. The new center made donations and services more accessible to those in Bethlehem. MMBC crossed state lines in 1993 by becoming licensed blood collection and expanding its customer base. In 1994, Dr. Kip Kuttner joined the Blood Center as medical director. Dr. Kuttner is entering his 28th year of service to the Blood Center and is recognized throughout the country as an expert in transfusion medicine. The first annual Cruise Aboard the Lifeline fundraising event was held in 1995 and would continue annually for the next 25 years. In 1999, MMBC wanted to recognize outstanding volunteer participation, and it created its first annual Student Volunteer Scholarship Award. This award was given to a graduating high school student. Two years later, MMBC merged with Keystone Community Blood Bank in Berks County, furthering its community reach. The Blood Center also became the fourth non-for-profit community blood organization in the United States to achieve an important quality certification. 2003 was the year the Blood Center became what it is today. MMBC became Miller Keystone Blood Center, or MKBC, and launched a new website at giveapint.org. A nucleic acid testing lab was established at the Bethlehem headquarters. Continuing its recognition for young donors, MKBC presented its first annual high school blood donor recruitment scholarship to reward students' efforts to increase blood supply in our region. Our community had a lot to do with the success of Miller Keystone Blood Center, including our selfless donors, all of our passionate staff, local leaders, and hospital partners. We also get all of the students and the younger generation involved when we do blood drives at schools and colleges in the area. In 2008, MKBC was named a Center of Excellence by manufacturer Gambro BCT. One of three centers in the nation to receive this designation, MKBC serves as a model for use of the Vista Information System software. That same year, blood centers throughout the country implemented a new labeling system that allowed every blood product to be specifically identified and tracked anywhere in the world. In addition to their global aid, human leukocyte antigen testing was implemented to identify what products can be best produced for a specific donor's blood. 
Peter J. Castagna Jr. was named as president and CEO in 2013, succeeding J. Michael Lee, who retired after a 33-year tenure. In addition to new leadership, online portals were added to promote privacy and convenience during the donation process. The success of Miller Keystone continued with Pete Castagna taking over his leadership role as president and CEO. He shaped the future of this blood center. He also helped the team to navigate through many of the challenges in the past few years and the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic in recent years. In 2015, the Blood Center launched its local leader campaign to recognize schools, businesses, church groups, and other organizations who go above and beyond the call of duty to support their community. Technology advanced the system for donors and created the iScreen system. In 2019, the Blood Center established its Adopt-A-Day program that enabled smaller groups and organizations to host a blood drive at the MKBC Donor Center without a minimum number of donations. As the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic hit, MKBC was forced to implement modifications to many of their procedures. In response to the virus, MKBC established its Convalescent Plasma Program by collecting plasma from recovered COVID-19 patients and giving it to critically ill coronavirus patients. The goal was to boost the patient's antibodies and help stimulate recovery. While experimental, the FDA announced the emergency authorization of Convalescent Plasma to treat COVID-19 patients. The need for the blood doesn't take break during a pandemic. We were able to implement a new process to collect, process, and ship convalescent plasma within a few weeks of the FDA giving the authorization to do so. During its 50th year of operation, the Blood Center prepared a total of 114,378 transfusable blood products. I started with Miller Keystone back in 1998. Throughout the years, Miller Keystone Blood Center kept up with the new technologies to make sure we have the quality products that our patients do deserve in our area. Throughout the past 50 years, Miller Keystone been able to support in any disaster our nation faced. We helped out with the September 11 disaster and any hurricanes throughout the states. We cannot be as successful as we are without those volunteers that are willing to show up every single day. Our staff are very professional they keep showing up day after day to support the mission of saving lives. The future of Miller Keystone Blood Center looks bright. Our job is to make sure we are by your side to support your mission and to support your growth. We will continue to look for new technologies to make sure that we have quality products to our patients. Miller Keystone Blood Center has been instrumental in our community for 50 years and will continue its impact for years to come, thanks to our partners and customers.